today. It's Thursday, the uh, 23rd of December, 2021. You can see we've got some serious clouds building out there beyond, beyond our local tower, or one of them. Oh, it just got some lightning. Anyway, make sure I'm recording. Yep. So here's a little bit of a directional thing from uh, my town here in, um, well I'm between Orange and uh, Bathurst, you work it out. You might be able to read it there anyway, I just noticed. So Canberra is in that direction over there, uh, we got Bathurst, where's Sydney, Sydney, this way. Often I'm pointing a little bit too much that way by looks of things. So Wollongong's not far off that. That's where I usually point for Wollongong, but I've been pointing that way for Sydney too often, which is more like... Well, it doesn't say the furthermost point on the coast there. It's probably uh, Newcastle or something, I suppose, because if, if Brisbane is this way... says 480 metres. It's only 19 metres to Bathurst. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd bring you the news from out here today before it gets too wet. Because I went out the mountain with the dog earlier and um, we got halfway up the mountain and it started pouring down on us. So I came home and I thought I'd come up here and do the news. <coughs> I live roughly over there and uh, that's where I used to work. That's the Nestle plant. Makes dog food, cat food. I worked there for a couple of years. I didn't really fit in. But anyway, I thought I'd bring you the news today. I'll just put this down for a sec. Got to get my um, my little note book out. I hope you're all well. Um, I think it's going to be a um, a Christmas of surprises for some, with the way they're not telling people about the weather in Sydney, and I'll mention that in a minute. But anyway, the news in Australia is that um, just got to get my notepad open to the right page first, and then I'll. Uh, Ugly head. Okay, so the news was basically that, uh, basically, use that word a bit too much. I've noticed. Anyway, I'll put towards, well, that's towards Sydney. I'll put that direction on. So, um, maybe towards Newcastle, Brisbane. So, Scott. Morrison has basically got the chill out mode going like the Trump Trump thing uh, when Trump was just being all chilled out and talking ridiculous like he was dumb going oh you should drink like um, does it work if you drink disinfectant like to get rid of it and maybe we should you know just being blase and while everyone else here all the health experts and the news is just ramping up the new you know disease of the morons so, um, I might just get me other goggles on. So I can't read properly without them. So anyway, uh, that's a bit better. So panic stations everywhere else. New South Wales government's calling for restrictions to come back. There was 3793 cases yesterday. Um, and they've said today on the news that it's, it's gone up. 50% to 5715, you do the math and that's only 33 on the bullshit figures anyway. Sorry about the swearing for anyone who's offended. Um, so the people have been queuing like from 4am in the morning. I've heard people's sto stories of queuing for like 9 hours. I might give you a look around as I talk. People queuing for 9 hours. Um, yeah, people who are working doing the doing the COVID um, testing. Oh, I said COVID. <laughs> I said it again. 
Anyway, the people that are doing the testing are getting really hot and all the equipment for how long they have to stand out in the sunshine so people can try and get away on their holidays. Um, <coughs> yeah, so, so Scott's uh, the whole time going in the face of the modelling, which is, you know, you know what I think of that, all of it, but in the face of the modelling saying 200,000 cases a day, Old Scotty boy's just going, oh, no, we just need to relax. No one needs to, like, get all worked up and, uh, you know, close borders. It's too long. They're trying to take away the restrictions for people entering and no testing. And the Nick's, Nick Coatesworth, the, the chief, deputy chief Melt, uh, health medical officer, is, like, all... Um, I just grabbed me bag come down here he's all like oh yeah we get we don't want to get all like he's smiling for a change we don't want to get all like too restrictive and you know people can be trusted and so you see what they're setting up for obviously old scotty boy is not going to be around much longer and some new new face is going to come in in the face of this problematic uh, situation that will arise because you know they didn't take it tackle it and then all the advice was there because everyone else has jumped up in arms about the the moron disease. So anyway, thought I'd come down here a bit closer and look at the uh, look at the potential storm over there. So there's another tower over there, as you can see, just down the hill for the industrial park, obviously. But um, we'll look towards Wollongong, eh? It's a bit nicer. See the railway going out. What else have I got to say here? Got to grab my notepad again. Um, so, meanwhile, the um, new transport minister who was before the police police minister, David Elliott, who called people buffheads for going to the beach last year. I'm pretty sure that was what it was about. He, um, he has said, I'll read it out, basically quote him, because I wrote it down word for word. They're stigmatising the unsquared, did you see? He said that the uh, unsquirted should pay their own medical expenses if they get the, the dreaded lurgy. It's all about personal responsibility. So he says, you know, there's already, he must have been asked if there was two classes, you know, squirted and unsquirted, and he said there already is two classes in the hospital system. He said... And this is exactly what he said. Um, you know, there's people who are unsquirted getting medical help because they haven't taken responsibility for their health. And the squirted are in there with genuine requirements for health care. So I guess, you know, genuine requirements for health care that they stuff you up first, eh? Um, anyway... There's a lot of stigmatization of the unsquirted coming about now, and um, that's just that's just evidence of it. Part of it is also like when they're rolling out all the newest all the new ways you've got to get in, show passports and that to get into restaurants and and retailers. Um, they're saying you know, oh, you know, basically stereotyping is it's all violent, dumb. Um, you know, just belligerent people. It's starting to rain a little bit. I might have to go in the car soon. We'll see. Got caught out once today already. Had to run back. So anyway, um, so there's new laws on cyber um, terrorism and cyber bullying coming in. So you know they're going to classify the unsquirted uh, prop and agenda as... Um, terrorism at some point soon and uh, <clears throat> anyway in Victoria the cases are going up too testing's overcrowded there uh, people are recommended to have Christmas outside you know people in Sydney are going to listen to that too which uh, which is weird because they they have a day off from storms on the actual day of Christmas whereas we have them on that day uh, 50 percent chance and what comes here goes there which is just over there so they're saying that um they're going to have a clear day there but 
You watch people get caught out, I reckon, on, on the day by what comes. So, car just came, which is annoying. Got the 5G behind me. <laughs> um, so what else have I got here? A little bit more on the strains hitch, maybe. Um, so these temporal, uh, temporary um, pop-up clinics, my theory about that is from the one that's in Orange in near a, a town where I go shopping, they had a, um, a squirt clinic there and I noticed it got shut down. It was just like a temporary thing and now it's getting made into a spec savers, right? And all these things that temporary pop up are for a reason. So there's no way you can trace when it all goes down and all these people are running around affected and they want answers and they want to get violent with where they got it done at, you watch. There's nowhere that there's going to be for them to go. So anyway, they want to pay doctors. Come over here, have a look what's going on. I can hear some storm behind me. They want to pay doctors an extra 10 bucks to give out more, because obviously doctors don't want to have people go down with um, you know, a fit or something like that when they're in their... Uh, surgery so they've got to make the incentive better i already heard and pharmacists that i already heard they were paying pharmacists some coin anyway a lot of coin to get rid of it anyway we'll have a look over here the wind's coming straight at me from the west going towards sydney you can see there's some rain already falling out there towards orange anyway no one came up so that's cool i'll just keep talking Hopefully this doesn't go too long. So I just want to deal with the Russes, Russes, Ra, Russia. I don't know why I was saying it wrong there. Um, situation. There's the mountain over there, by the way, in the distance. If you can see, I, I've got the notepad in my hand so I can't focus. That's where I drive out to Mount Macquarie. But um, So the Russes, Russia. I've got a lisp and I don't even know why. Maybe it's because I'm missing so many teeth because I'm an old... Well, I won't say bastard. <laughs> anyway, um, so the Russia situation is that they've cut off gas to Poland and Germany. Um, there's a lot of war plan activity going on. There's been YouTube and New York Prepper who follows all the flight paths and that. And uh, he's been shown that the doomsday planes are flying both of America and Russia, which are command and control for all forces if needs be. Um, Ukrainians uh, have fired military, um, have fired live US Javelin missiles in Donbass for the first time and NATO is ra raising readiness for uh, a, a, um, a response to this. So Russia has, um, oh, sorry, Ukraine, the Ukraine has dug trenches, the military right on its northern border with Belarus, Russia. Um, so it looks like it's gonna go down and some rumors are that it might happen on Christmas Eve. And this is what I've thought. I think the coding is there for it too in what I wanna show you now. Um, I'll just have, I'll just turn the page. Hopefully you can see this. So the case numbers in New South Wales yesterday, I'm, I'm drawing this I mean, it's speculation, but uh, it's from the rules of Gematria that I know. So, <laughs> hopefully this makes sense. And you can see it, because I can't see if you can see it. There's 3793 cases yesterday in New South Wales, 5715 today, right? Now, if you, you can work out the date of Christmas Day from both of those numbers using Gematria rules. The first, if you can see, that's the 21st, 25th, 9 gets cancelled of 21, right? So 25th of the, oh sorry, I meant to make 12. I made 21 twice, stupid. But anyway, so that's 12, you know, and 21. So 25th to 12, 21. Today's case numbers, right? Are they just random? Let's just see. I don't know. Upside down and backwards, 2, right? You got your 25 there, 2 plus 5 is 7. Drag the one down. Five is 2021. Okay. So then you got, just add the one and the two. 
because the five is upside down and backwards, they use that rule. You had your one, two and the one there, and you got the 25th, the 12th, 2021. 20, Am I saying something will happen on Christmas Day? No. Is it a high day for the the uh, the satanic orders that run this place? These people that like to get off on these high days, is it? Is it important enough for them to maybe make a number that has some sort of hidden code and meaning? I definitely think so. Anyway, the storms are coming in now and um, we've got two days till the day we'll find out whether there is any sense in what I've just said. So basically they're talking about bringing restrictions back here and uh, stigmatising us in the main meantime and... Um, don't really bother me none. I'm just looking forward to the show. All right, well, I'll leave it there because it's probably been a while now. And uh, I'll just leave you with my walk back to the car looking west. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all maintaining your sanity wherever, wherever you are, whatever you do in life, whether you're with people or without them. The, the trials and temptations are there. It's war games, folks. What is it? Silent weapons for uh, silent wars. Whoa! They dropped them.